trust you can hear me. So um, in chap Mishnah 13 and 14 of the second chapter, we continue with uh, Rabbi Yochanan ben Zakkai and his five preeminent students. We've learned about their special qualities. And now in Mishnah 13, Amalehem, his teacher says to them, Go out and take a look and see what is the appropriate and best way that a person should conduct, that, with which a person should conduct himself in, in the world. In other words, now that you've absorbed so much book learning and you're men of knowledge and understanding, the important thing for you is not to be able to hold this within your own ivory towers, but go out into the world of affairs, the world of practical experience, go and see what's going on, and you'll discover the best way for a human being to, to travel, the most important quality that they need to cultivate. Uh, we see this in a number of other places that Jewish learning can't be contained within its own four walls. We find even in the Haggadah, say ulamad, go out and learn. You have to go out of your own uh, intellectual uh, intellectual four worlds. You have to go out of your the physical Beta Midrash house of study uh, to in, in order to really learn. That you have to have empirical, practical knowledge as well as theoretical knowledge, and you only gain this from the university of experience out there in, in the world. And that's what he says to his five students, go and see what is the very best way for a person to conduct himself in the affairs of the world. And each one of these five sages now gives their answer. And in the end, their teacher is going to choose one as the best of the five, of the five answers. And so Rabbi Eliezer says, Omer Ayin Tova, a kindly eye. Rabbi Yeshua Omer, Chaver Tov. Rabbi Yeshua says, having a good friend. That's really important. Rabbi Yossi Omer, he says, Shachen Tov, having a good neighbor, being in a good in environment <coughs> around you. Rabbi Shimon Omer, no, he says, Haroya Tanolad. What's really important for a person is to be able to foresee in advance the outcome of things. In other words, Whatever you're going to do now, just look forward and see where is this going to lead to. If you don't have that foresight, you can come unstuck through the law of unintended consequences, which is a very powerful law, as everybody knows in all of our lives. Things that turn out not quite the way in which we intended them. Start something with the best of intentions and it all goes pear shape. So therefore, have that degree of foresight. That's the most important thing you need to navigate your way through the world and the, the affairs of human beings. And Rabbi Elazar Omer, no, no, a lave tov, to have a good heart. Amalehem, and so the teacher, Rabbi Yochanan and Zakkai, having heard these five answers, says, Ro'a ani et divrei Elazar ben Arach, I see the words, I favor the words of my student, Elazar ben Arach, the fifth and the last of them, because me divreichem, better than all of your answers, and the reason is because Shibichlal Devarav included in his answer is Devrechem are all of your answers. His answer is one that is all inclusive and it contains everything that you've already said. Well, we're going to want to unpack this Mishnah and to look at each one of these qualities. And in particular, we're going to want to understand what is it about this, these individuals' characteristics that we've learned about in the previous Mishnah that, for example, uh, Rabbi Eliezer is a Borsud, She'enum Abed Tipa. He is the, the system that holds water that doesn't lose a drop. He has this fantastic memory. So in, in what way is that going to influence the answer that he has given? And so too with each one of the other sages. Uh, and that's what we'll start to look at in the coming, in the coming sessions of this uh, very fascinating.